Hi, this is Dale with Computer Aftercare again. And tonight I want to show you how to increase the speed and stability of your Windows system using a simple portable program called the Simple System Tweaker. Anyways, I'm going to show you a screenshot of what the program is going to look like before we actually download it. We're going to see a program that looks just like this here. And as you can see, there's basically four tabs here that we're going to go through and describe the general networking, service, and visual tweaks. And before we apply these, I'll actually show you how to initiate a backup of your, of your registry first. Now, these tweaks here have been proven to virtually cause no side effects with any programs that you would have installed in your computer, according to the publisher. However, I would say that that's not entirely true. I have seen one that uh, did cause a minor error, and it wasn't anything significant, but the air that popped up told me exactly which one I needed to turn back on and it was not a, it wasn't a difficult thing to do. Anyways with that said let's go ahead and download the program. I'm going to use Internet Explorer. This is the website here for the page for the Simple System Tweaker and I will provide that link in the description below the video. Now you can choose several different download links here you can actually install it to your hard drive or you can actually save it as a portable file which you can put on a flash drive and use on other computers as well. And that's what I like to use, the direct download of the portable version. So I'm going to click this download button here. Now you can either save it to the desktop or the docu uh, documents folder, downloads, wherever you like as long as you know where it goes. I'm going to save it to the desktop. Now this file is very small so it downloads very quick and it's also a zip file so we have to unzip this so usually newer versions of Windows will allow you to actually unzip these with the native Windows software or you can use WinZip or WinRAR. So this is the file we just downloaded right here. Now I'm going to extract this to the folder here. You can do it either way but if you keep it in the folder, the top level folder, it'll sometimes keep some extracted files from scattering all, all over your desktop. Okay, so here's the folder that just extracted. And these are all the files inside it. This is the executable, the application that we're going to run. So we'll go ahead and double click that to start it. Accept the user account control prompt. And here it is. This is the actual program here. Now I can actually click on these different tabs here. Now the welcome screen here actually describes, you know, it works from XP through basically for consumers you're going to go up to Windows 8 and also Server 2008. And as it says here, it's designed to bring only the safest tweaks to your system. Now by using these tweaks, you can actually improve the speed of your computer because every little tweak conserves a little bit of memory and CPU resources so that when added all together you're going to notice a definite speed increase. It's not going to double your speed but you're going to notice a speed increase. Now before we do this just to be in the safe side it says here backing up is only slightly less important than your heartbeat so don't tweak without it. So let's go ahead and do a backup of the registry first. Let's go run that and then click run again and this is just a built-in method of doing a very robust backup of your registry so that if something did go wrong which I doubt you can restore your registry back to how it was before you started using this program okay so the registry backups complete so now we're going to go ahead and start up here with general tweaks now we're going to go ahead and leave all of these checked I've never seen a single one of these cause a problem by having them on. And if you want to see what each one does, you can click on the little question mark. A lot of these features actually describe just what it is that's happening. And then we'll go to the networking tweaks tab here. And this one by default's not checked, so we'll go ahead and leave that unchecked. We'll go to the services tweaks. And the only one by default that's not checked is this one here, the Windows Media Center Services. 
Now this is the one that I mentioned earlier that I actually had a problem with one time. I had to go back and turn it on was SSDP Discovery. And if you want to know what that's about, click the question mark and it's a service used to find UPnP devices on your network. There was a program that required that to be running, so I had to go back and turn that back on, so I unchecked it. You can leave it unchecked if you're worried about that. And then there's the visual tweaks. Now there's a few that I like to leave unchecked so that the visual look of your screen isn't going to drastically change. In some cases people who use Arrow and you like that glass effect you might want to uncheck disable desktop composition although if you do check it you're going to get a bit more of a speed boost by having this feature turned off. Anyways once you're comfortable with all the tweaks that you've checked and unchecked you can go ahead and apply the tweaks. Remember we've already backed up the registry. So click apply and it's that simple. Now you'll need to restart the computer before these changes will take effect and I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to click no and go ahead and close the program. So that's pretty much it. Now the next time you restart your computer and come back up it's going to be a little bit quicker. Now I do want to show you if you were to do some of these tweaks yourself manually Say so you'd have to go in here and go to like advanced system settings, performance and settings, and you're going to have to go and figure out which one of these here. You can check and uncheck. And services, that would be an even longer list. You'd have to go in here and go through this list and see which one of these that you need to set to automatic or manual or disabled. As you can see, that's a pretty lengthy list. And the network settings are even more obscure. So I'm not even going to get into showing you that. So basically, I just wanted to show you just how important this program is to making these tweaks for you. It makes it very simple. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video and you enjoyed the extra speed your computer is going to have. Thank you for using Computer Raptor Care and... Bye-bye.